All right, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Aaron, and today I'm gonna show you a real easy meal to barbecue. If you're out at Glamis, we're gonna use a charcoal barbecue today. In the last video, we used the, the Blackstone griddle to make some fajita tacos, but today we're gonna make some chicken drumsticks, so stay tuned. Side. As you can see, this, here's our, our chicken drumsticks here. Um, I put some olive oil and some salt, pepper, and garlic inside the bag here with, with these uh, drumsticks to let them marinate and get some more flavor. So you can go to any grocery store. I, I went to Stater Brothers and got these from the meat counter. These are chicken drumsticks here. And we also have this, uh, we also have these corn on the cobs here too. I have them soaking in some water to get some moisture. And we're gonna put these on the barbecue too. And then I should probably mention too the barbecue sauce we're gonna be using. We're using this bullseye barbecue sauce. This is the stuff I've been using pretty much all my life. Uh, I grew up on this. Well, anyways, that's what we're using. And it tastes good, so try it out. Okay, so the flames are kind of dying down a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw the grates on here. Throw the grate. Throw it on so we start getting clean. And I know my barbecue's kind of uneven, kind of unlevel, because we have this little uh, flood control. They, the way they, they built our backyard, this shit gets all flooded right here, so we had to dig this out, put gravel for the drain right here, so. Yeah, that's why it looks weird. And then uh, here's a little trick. You wanna spin your grates around, just grab your little brush, or uh, you can you probably use tongs or a spatula, but just go like this. Spin that shit around, dude. I wanna point out how I have the coal set up. See how the coals are all stacked to one side here? And there's no coals over here? That's called indirect cooking or indirect heating or some shit. So that's how I do my coals. I put them all to one side. First, we'll put all the chicken on top of the coals, get a little char, a little sear on top, on the outside. Then we'll scoot them over here to let them finish off and we'll throw the corn on. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw the chicken drumsticks on top of the coals here. Man, that already smells good. So yeah, what you want to do is kind of just sear them for like a less than one or two minutes on each side. So give them a little check here. Oh yeah. See that sear, that little char? So you want. Look at that on both sides here. And we'll check back in a few minutes here. Ooh. A little bit crispy here. That's all right. Let's uh, move these over here now. Yeah, it's crispy enough. Okay, so we, we went ahead and seared the chicken on both sides. And see see how now I have the chicken over on this side of the grill where there's no coals? So we'll cover it for about 15 minutes and we'll come back and throw some barbecue sauce on top of the chicken. Okay guys, it's been about 15 minutes. Let's give it a peek here. Oh yeah. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the barbecue sauce on there. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is actually flip them over and put sauce on the other side. So let's do that right now. Okay, so we have the drumsticks sauced up with barbecue sauce. Next, we're gonna throw the lid on for another 15 minutes. All right, so guys, I did forget to put the corn on the barbecue, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, it's been our 15 minutes, guys, so let's uh, go ahead and cover this thing, huh? Oh yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more uh, sauce to the wings. Then I'm gonna put them on the other side here. So I'm gonna let these cook for like, I don't know, another five more minutes with the lid on it. Then I'm gonna come back out and check it. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Wow, those look good. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I have this little electric thermometer. I'm gonna probe the chicken and see if it's done. So what you wanna get to is about 165, but I, I try to get to about 170 or 175. So let's check it out right now. Okay, we have our thermometer here ready to go. Let's check this piece right here. It's at 
60 something. This one over here is at almost done. Yeah, that one's, that one's probably done right there. That one's done. So I'm gonna sw switch these around right here and finish these ones right here. I'm gonna put them over the coals for a little longer and char them for a little bit. All right guys, so now what I'm gonna do, put them right over the coals, baby. It's like so, just like that, to finish them off a little bit. chicken and the corn on the cob inside the house. Next we're gonna throw some more barbecue sauce on top of the chicken. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Put a nice coat on the chicken here. And uh, yeah, you can do all this out in Glamis. So that's why I made this video, is so that you guys can see an, another easy meal to make out in Glamis. Okay, so you can use your charcoal barbecue like, like I did, or you can use your propane grill, what does it matter? If you have a charcoal barbecue, you make this right here. This is how I made it, it's pretty good. Okay, so here's our chicken with the barbecue sauce on it, and here's our corn on the cob off the barbecue. We got some beans. That's another thing too, you guys can also get a, like grab a, a can of beans from the grocery store and make them in your RV or whatever, in Glamis, and you have a nice meal for your whole camp if you want to. But yeah, that's all we got for you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.